Round two. Fight. Crypto slow. Cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? So the deflationary token battle rages on. It is frag versus void. And um, if you've been paying attention, we're going to have a newcomer possibly this weekend, the Banker token from Bankroll Network. So let's talk about what's going on right now with Void and Frag. Well, I can tell you, uh, so far, I've been pretty successful with both my Void and my Frag. I can't complain. Um, I held a little bit but I've mainly been selling so these are completely free tokens and people are like what is the purpose of these tokens well the purpose is to get a lot or to make some TRX so it's kind of like a game basically um, you know if you hold them there could be some dApps and there could be other things that you can use them for who knows the, the use case is up in the air right now but let's get to what the intro to the video is and that is round two so round one of the airdrop has taken place for both um, frag and as well as void the main differences are that their burn rates are different void has a little more aggressive burn rate um, and frag it's a little softer so you're like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I missed out on airdrop one. I want in on airdrop number two. No problem. Frag said their airdrop is upcoming. So as of now, they just finished their first airdrop. There was very high demand for this free token. Um, and there, it's in the works that wave two is going to start. But it looks like Void has taken the lead and is going to airdrop their round two token before frag so looking at um, trxwatch.market um, void is definitely holding a higher price around 11 cents versus um, frag which is below one trx so the last one went through at one but is very low volume so it appears that people are hodling a little harder and less willing to pay for the frags um, as they are the voids now with that being said remember there these are completely free tokens to begin with they are given to a bunch of people so whether or not you purchase them that is up to you. At this point, I personally am not purchasing. I think it's silly to purchase any right now when they're giving it away for free. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. You should do whatever you think. Like I said, it's a it's kind of a dap. It's fun with the blockchain. Um, you know, I'm just breaking it down. Now, those that are having trouble seeing the TRX watch market, that's because you need to add the custom token. So basically, if you scroll down to the bottom on tronwatch.market, there's an add custom token box. Basically, what you need to do is you need to get the contract address. So let's take void for example. So in the void, if you go into the telegram, I'm going to leave links for everything. Um, you're going to go up here and you're going to look at the void um, basically at the top. And actually, whoa, Voidberg. Uh, looks like they took away their main um, pinned message, which not a problem. What we can do is we can look it up on Tronscan. So I'm going to go to Exchange. I'm going to go to Tronscan. It's not a problem. So this is good. This is a good learning experience. So I'm going to look up the contract address for Void. That is where it is created and search Void token, 3% burn, blah, blah, blah. Okay. What you're interested in is this contract address. And like I said, I'll leave a link down below. So you look up the token that you want to see on Tron Watch, and then you go over here, and like I said, you click on the box, you scroll down, you click Add Custom Token, and you paste in the contract address. 
Okay, the token's already listed. Okay, boom. But I'm just giving you the example. So you could do the same thing with frag. You could go to frag, you type it into Tronscan, and Tronscan allows you to look up any token. And then we have the void contract address. And you would cop click on it, copy it, and the same business. You would go here, scroll down, hit add a custom token, paste in the custom address in this. Now, you're like, well, why do you have to do that? Because by default, Tron Watch does not list all tokens, but any token can be listed on Tron Watch. Um, so basically, like my custom token, my support token for my YouTube channel, um, Crypto Slow MGS, if I took the custom address, okay, well, wait, actually. Oh yeah, that's the issuer. But yeah, I could I could take the address of my crypto slow token and I could put it on Tron Watch and I could I could basically put them up for sale. So what it does is it warns you though you have selected a token not on Tron Watch. So it warns you that it's could be you know it's not verified. But like I said, if you go to Tron Scan, type in void, type in frag, you can get the contract address and you're all set. Okay, so we've established that. We went over the prices that they're sitting at. So the question is, how do I get in on the void airdrop? Well, you're going to go to the void token airdrop page. And like I said, I'll leave a link. And you're going to hit Control F5. And you're like, well, why do you do that? Control F5 forces a refresh on the page. Okay, it clears out the cache because you may not see it. Now, the tricky part. Because so many people were trying to scam and get more than their fair share, they've kind of created an extra layer to the airdrop. So you're going to put in your email, you're going to put in your Tron address, and then you have to put in your Discord, um, your Discord username without a um, number sign in between the number and the name. And you're like, oh, and then you have to that you have to join the Discord server. So if we go back to Telegram, blah, 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 blah. let's see, let me pull this up. I can pull it up here. Go to Void. All right, pin message. So I'm going to go here. Now it tells you the address of the Discord. So I click on that. And it's going to open up the Discord server, accept invite. So what Discord is, is it's another messaging app similar to Telegram. And that and they're going to see this green, you know, this purple void. OK, now this is what's important. You have to go to the airdrop verify, click on it, and then paste in your Tron address. OK. And then after you've done that, you've joined the Discord and you paste it in. Then you're going to put whatever your Discord name is, okay? And you are going to put it in here with without a space between the number, your Tron address, and then you're going to hit request airdrop. That's it. That's all you have to do. So join the Discord, post your address in the air airdrop. Um, room. So going back here, these are these are rooms. Announcements, general, airdrop, verify. Okay, you post your address in the airdrop room. So what they're going to do is they will cross compare what's on this form to the Discord to make sure that you're not trying to cheat and get more void than what you deserve. Um, and like I said. I will post some pseudo quick directions down here in the contract addresses um, and you can check it out. Um, so yeah, so the battle rages on between these deflationary tokens and it's going to be very interesting to see how this pans out and it's going to be really interesting when um, Bankroll Network introduces their token and kind of mixes stuff up because I think they have a lot of surprises planned 
for their launch and you know it's a very strong network and they've got a lot of distribution um, so we're gonna see how that turns out so hope you enjoyed tonight's video like subscribe as always as we go on this crypto journey this is crypto slow if you're not talking gains then we're not talking <music>